maintain the order of solving when you get the question paper have to be very smart so keeping that in mind please make sure that at least you don't leave these chapters you can see here so for your effective revision you need to com uh, complete at least initial 16 chapters hello students welcome to allen overseas i hope your preparation for neat 2023 is going well and you have left no stone unturned for the big day of your career so here comes the date of neat 2023 that is 7th may 2023 and now you must be thinking that what to do for neat and as you know that few days are left so you must be worried about it but you do not have to worry about it here we come with few of the tips and the tricks for the last few days so that it's going to help you to do the best in your examination so here comes with some of the tips that you have to follow before the examination paper so the way the first thing is that don't start with any new chapter if you are going to start with any new chapter it is going to create a lot of confusion in the last moment so whatever be the things that you have already studied it may distract you from that preparation as well so restrict yourself to start with any of the new chapter new topics in any of the subject second is that revise the previous year questions as much as you can you can find that there is a time that has been mentioned over here that is from 2 pm to 5:20 pm what is the meaning of it it is the exact the real time of neat 2023 so if you are going to set your biological clock as per this time so is going to help you to sit properly with a fixed mind in the paper third thing is that focus on your strength you know that if you are going to focus on your strength that is going to help you to be stabilized during the examination and it will develop your examination temperament and you can handle the stress during the paper so but all these things should be practiced before the paper actually so fourth point is that go through ncert solved example especially for physics and chemistry and but you can leave the examples that are involving complex mathematical calculation why it is so because you know that it is for both je and neat so complex mathematical calculations it may not help you uh, for neat actually so fifth one is keep revising all allen major test papers probably you had given all the allen major test papers and i hope you have already mentioned that what are the uh, mistakes that you that you have already done and you can go through the solutions of the paper and all your mistakes that you had already done in the past now let us move to the points that you have to follow during the examination so the first thing is that read every question carefully so when you are getting the paper so first of all if you want to attempt a question read it very very carefully i say that at least two times careful reading of the question is must let's take an example a question has been given to you to find out the correct statement it might be possible that the question has been asked to you to find out the incorrect statement so this is the point where you can do the mistake so reading the question carefully is going to save you from that mistake so that silly mistakes can be avoided second is that maintain the order of solving when you get the question paper then first start doing biology then come to chemistry and then come to physics but not all the questions you can leave the tough and the confusing questions for later stage it's going to help you the save in saving time and again avoiding mistakes so always try solving the question in two stages in the first step you solve all the easy and the question in which you are confident about in a order of or in a sequence of bio chemistry and physics or otherwise you may get stuck in the numerical part and it is going to trouble you in the further part of the paper now come to few of the last minute strategy for physics so here we have a small analysis over the average questions that has been asked in the previous years so i have mentioned few of the topics and the number of questions that has been asked in the previous years so i hope these are the must topics you should not leave these question topics the pyqs of these chapters the formulas of this chapters you can just go through it as a revision and you can also 
focus on the numericals of NCRT of these chapters. So what are those chapters? The first one is thermal physics that is from class 11th. Modern physics is again very very important. You can expect five questions out of that which is from class 12th. Current electricity and effect of current. Again three questions can be asked from it like circuit analysis and dependence of resistance on the various factors. Fourth one is semiconductor and digital electronics. It is a must. You can expect a question from logic gate. You can expect a questions from output and input voltage. You can expect a question uh, from the related concepts. Similarly, the fifth one is ray optics and optical instruments. Again, you know that very, very important. For that, you can refer the previous year questions uh, that has been asked in the previous NEET examination. Sixth one is magnetic effects, current and magnetism and the properties of magnetic matter also. Seventh one is electrostatics. Again, very important. You can expect around two to three questions out of that. So you can see that from electrostatics and current electricity, you are totally getting around five to six questions. Eighth is rotational motion. Uh, again, the formula and the previous questions are important. You can simply go through it go through the solution of the PYQs in the last minute just for your reference if you have already revised it. Ninth one is properties of matter and fluid mechanics. Gravitation again very easy chapter we cannot leave it. Eleventh one is wave optics and kinematics. Here you can expect two two questions from each chapter and again very easy formula based questions YDAC, diffractions and the questions based on kinematics equation, constant and variable acceleration. So, you can rely completely on the PYQs for such type of topics and we cannot leave it. You can also find out the number of counts which is going to help you to secure at least uh, more than 100 marks from this. Coming to these chapters again, it is it might be possible that it is of less weightage but again it is, these are quite easy to handle chapters. You can find Topics includes alternating current, wave motion and Doppler's effect, electromagnetic induction, how to find out the induced EMF, induced current, uh, induced charges, the formulas related to that, oscillation, units and measurement. Uh, again, definitely you must be uh, expecting one question from unit and measurement that includes the error question as well. Question from circular motion, EM waves, Newton's law of motion and friction rotational motion, capacitors, work energy and power and basic mathematics and vectors. So what we can see that these chapters has a weightage of only one one question. Again even if it is one one questions but the questions are going to be very easy and we cannot afford losing marks by leaving these chapters. So I hope you are going to rely on the chart that has been give here, given here. And you can do your best to get the result. Now we have Survi Ma'am with us and she will be guiding you for the last minute tips and strategy for chemistry. So all right students, after Shweta Ma'am has discussed the tips and strategy for physics, let's discuss about chemistry. Okay, so if I talk about, you know, the weightage of 12th and 11th class, you very well know that the weightage of class 12th is slightly on a higher side as compared to class 11th. So you can clearly see here that the weightage for class 12th is slightly on a higher side. This is the weightage for your class 12th. This is for your class 11th. Also you'll keep in mind that when I talk about the individual weightage of physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry and organic, that will be almost 33.33%. If I talk about individually organic chemistry, we'll keep in mind that the weightage of class 12th will be slightly on a higher side. If I talk about physical, you need to give equal weightage to class 11th and 12th. And in the case of inorganic, please make sure that you focus on important chapters like chemical bonding from class 11th, like DNF block and coordination chemistry from class 12th. Okay, moving ahead. 
Here students you can clearly see that these are the chapters where you need to spend less time and they can give you more marks. Okay, so because of the last few days which are left, you need to keep in mind that you have to be very smart. So keeping that in mind, please make sure that at least you don't leave these chapters. You can see here polymers, biomolecules, surface chemistry, periodic trends and properties, environmental chemistry, metallurgy and chemistry in everyday life. So we'll keep in mind that here you have to give less time to these chapters and still you know that at least one question comes from these chapters every year. All right. Now, here if you see in this particular chart, you can clearly see that these are the average number of questions which have been coming every year. So if you see here, you can clearly see that the questions coming from SPDF blocks are coming, you know, around seven average number of questions per year. You can see that in chemical bonding part, average number of questions which are coming are three. You can clearly see that from chapters related to oxygen containing groups, be it alcohol phenol ether, be it aldehyde ketones and carboxylic acid, you can clearly see the weightage is around three and so on. So you can understand that if a question is more than one from a chapter, you need to emphasize on that chapter more. And also you need to keep in mind that we have division like section A and section B. From section B, you have a choice that out of 15, you need to attempt 10. So be smart, choose those 10 questions where you are comfortable with. Okay, now, same is the case. You can clearly see with these chapters and you can see the respective questions being asked, average questions per year from these particular chapters. Okay, so I've shown all these chapters and the questions coming from them every year. Now, also we'll keep in mind that you can clearly see we have this particular flow chart of chemistry for the, all the years. Over the years, you can see that from all these chapters, how many questions are coming every year. So here we have the total of the questions which are being asked from these particular chapters. You can clearly see that if I talk about SPDF block, you can clearly see that questions are around 110 over all these years. You can see from chemical bonding, the questions which are coming are 67. You can see from oxygen family and oxygen containing group chapters, the questions which have come are 57. So we need to emphasize on these chapters more. That will be your strategy for chemistry. In the last few days, you don't have to start a new chapter. You have to focus on your strengths and you have to give your 100 percent. You have to emphasize on your module questions for practice, your NCRT examples and all the chapters, theoretical chapters from NCRT which can directly give you marks. Okay, so students, that was your strategy for chemistry. Now, Nitin sir will be guiding you for biology. Hello students, now we are going to discuss strategies for biology. Now, please see the topics first. If you will see the topics, the most important chapter in which you will find the maximum weightage is of genetics. After genetics, you can see ecology and demography, then plant physiology, then plant diversity, cell biology and cell division, then human reproduction, then life cycles of angiosperms, then morphology, then human health and disease, after that animal diversity, then evolution, then plant anatomy. After that, the weightage will be complete human physiology, complete human physiology, of class 11th plus animal tissues. This will be the weightage. Means in total we have 23 chapters. So from these 23 chapters you can score near about 360 marks. But if you do not have time, that much time. So for your effective revision you need to com uh, complete at least initial 16 chapters. Easily you can score 340 marks in that. Right? Now, let's talk about how much time you need to give for biology. So if you will see the paper, it is of 3 hours 20 minutes, means of 200 minutes, out of which you need to give 40 to 45 minutes for biology, including OMR filling, right? Now, 
For this particular time, you need to emphasize on these important points. The first point is you need to follow NCERT along with your notes. Then you need to highlight the important lines which are given in your NCERT, which you find difficult to understand. Means what is important for you? The part which is difficult for you, it is important at this particular time period, right? Now, please see, you need to make flow charts of the theory or the mechanism and the summary given at the end of each chapter. Next, you need to practice diagrams, especially of NCERT, all the labelings of those diagrams. Then you need to write datas of NCERT separately and frame single type questions by your own and practice them. So these are the five important points you need to do at this particular time. Thank you.